Hello ladies and gents, how's it going today? Research here, we got ourselves a brand new opinions video and today we're going to be taking a look at the weapons for the defense classes. I don't really got much else to say, so without further ado, let us begin. This is my preferred grenade launcher. I like it a lot. I still have horrible memories of the old lock and load, but now it's just whatever. I prefer this one over this one, but they're both still good. It could be better, but I like it, especially in solar light strimping videos. There's some uses for this thing, but it's just pretty bad. I like myself, Mini Sarge isn't happy about this one. And it's not because this weapon is bad, it's quite the opposite actually. It's way too good, well outclasses any other demo primary. It's in the same boat as the Iron Bomber, but the demo's secondary versatility outclasses his primary versatility easily. So I like this one. Unless you're playing passively and setting up traps, it's pretty bad. I'm grouping all three of these together because they just have their own niche of being extremely annoying to fight against, whether it be chasing after them or doing less damage because of all the resistances all the shields have. This is super fun to use, especially after I saw the tutorial Nate Fox made about it. Man, I love this thing. I don't really see this thing too often, so I can't really give an opinion about it. It's just whatever for me. Handshake is better than the bottle, but I don't really care for either of them because I use the pan. I like them all, but if I had to pick, it'd definitely be the 9-iron because it reminds me of that, like, one Jim or GTA video. Listen, I don't want any trouble. <laughs> I damn well showed you, didn't I? Well, the guy in the striped shirt's a real cocky asshole, huh? I wonder how we're gonna deal with this situation, hmm? Could you guess? We're gonna fucking... <laughs> This is, this is crit Jesus, I swear. I'm, I'm gonna die just looking at this. Back in the day, I used to just go on high tower servers and bully snipers with a pain train. I don't know why the pain train, it's just counterintuitive if I wanted to bully snipers, but something about it just, just felt right. So I like it. I get that it was broken before, but this thing just sucks now, dude. Just a fat whatever for me. This is also fun to use, but really only as demo. This one can only be used if you're playing Demo Knight, and it's still one of the worst options for it. I like the Iron Curtain more than stock, but they're both still amazing. Sometimes this will be an issue when I'm jumping around, either a Scout, Soldier, or Demo, but in general, it's, it's whatever. There is no second chance or second hope for this thing, it just sucks. This is my favorite minigun, hands down. This may come off as, Sarge, you're a fucking idiot, but I cannot use this thing on Heavy. I can use it on any other class, but not on heavy. The subclass is super fun though. Same case as the shotgun. This one I can use slightly better, but I'm still bad at the subclass. I like the stock one more than the robo one, and surprise surprise, this is my most used secondary for heavy, so I like it. I like the chocolate more than the fish cake, but this thing sucks. Even if I'm using this thing with the KGB, it, it just sucks. All right, so in my last video, people were like, oh, it's charge. The panic attack is good for pyro, because boop boop beep beep. Okay, okay, fine. You could have whatever argument you have for pyro, sure. But I doubt there's any potential for the panic attack on heavy, and I'm gonna stand by that. Uh, this thing sucks. Easily the next best heavy secondary, virtually interchangeable with the stock sandwich, but dropping 150s for my teammates is too much to sacrifice for me. The Apoka Fist is better than stock, but they're both still bad. It's funny, but pretty bad. The bread bites are better than the grill, and this is my go-to heavy melee, so I like it. Pretty bad. This is a potential heavy melee alternative, and I've used it from time to time, so I like it. Pretty bad. I referenced the Gemma Bum Punch thing in my Q&A, so I'm not gonna do that again. But if this thing wasn't as fun as it is, it'd be sitting with all the other bad heavy melees. Like I said before, I can use shotgun on other classes, including NG. NG, I don't know why but I really enjoy using the shotgun on. I rarely see it and I never use it. So that's whatever for me. Super cool weapon, super fun, and I just love how it functions. Pretty bad. I am a meta slave and I love using this thing. Pretty bad. The Luger Morph is better than stock, but when they release the capper, bump all of the other pistols. This one was the one to take. The Geiger counter is better than the Wrangler, but this thing is genuinely one of the most annoying weapons to fight against. So I don't like it. This thing makes me feel like Mega Man, and it's not extremely annoying to fight against or to use. So, I like it. I was gonna also include the Golden Wrench, but there wasn't much of a point, because that's such an insane rarity to encounter, and, you know, it's not different other than the gold effect it has. But I do love me a good wrench. I really like this weapon. Look guys, I'm sorry, but I really do like using the Gunslinger. More so for the health bonus. I don't usually put down minis, but if there's like 
a setup where there's like so much of an enemy team rolling, then, you know, I gotta rely on my low butt. Pretty bad. I don't use many of the wrenches because stock wrench is just my bread and butter, but the Jag is really good. This thing has one purpose and one purpose only, at least for my eyes, and that is a Jag effect roller. Other than that, I, I don't see myself ever using it, and I don't see many other NGs ever using it. Alright guys, let's go wrap it up for today. So Junior went to bed, so I won't be here for the outro, as outro surpasses bedtime. Anyways, I thank you guys so much for watching, take care, as always, have a good one.